Hey everyone, so we decided to stop at Shorty's uh, Breakfast and Deli. Um, it's a little gem hidden here in Clearwater. It's got a beautiful view of the ocean. And they serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So we're gonna check out the food and uh, let you know what it's like. So the reason why this is a hidden gem is because it's a, it kind of looks like a grocery store. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty neat. You wouldn't even know it's back there unless you really looked. Yeah. So, but um, our appetizers came. We got some fried pickles and uh, go ahead and see what these things taste like. Look pretty good. Yeah. I love fried pickles. That's another one of our things is fried pickles. Very hot. <laughs> Two different types of sauces. Let's try this one first. Mm. A little hot. Yeah. But this is a marinara. I never thought of doing fried pickles with a marinara sauce. That is really good. I haven't tried it. So, Let's see what that tastes like. <laughs> um, the reason why we're we're here is we're having a little weekend in Clearwater, and we're gonna do three stops at three different restaurants. So um, we, this is the first one. Um, we have, hopefully we're gonna be trying the Columbia Spanish restaurant. If you watched our last video, it was a two and a half hour wait. So we have a reservation tonight. So, yeah. but we're gonna go there. And then tomorrow we're gonna try this really cute little place called Spectacular, Spectacular. Yeah, Spectacular. Yeah, and they make crepes. They looked awesome online, so we're definitely gonna it's go check that out. It's a little family-owned restaurant too, so we love supporting local businesses. So I got the buffalo chicken sub. Uh, it's actually it's not like a fried buffalo chicken like you traditionally see. It's buffalo to chicken much meat, but they use real crumble blue cheese on it. So it's really good. It's fresh vegetables. Uh, the blue cheese really kind of makes it pop, and the bunch meat is uh, it's boar's head, so. You can expect it to taste good but it's a it's sliced chicken and it flavors it's flavors like buffalo so all in all i'd say it's definitely worth it i got it your basic greek salad looks pretty good yeah it's really good it's even got uh potato salad on it mm. looks pretty good the potato salad makes it pop um Dressing's really good. So, but we're gonna eat now. Um, we'll see you later. Okay, so we're on our walk over to the Columbia. Um, this, they have like seven of them in Florida, and it's been owned by the same family. If you remember from our St. Augustine tour, uh, one of our food tours, we didn't get a chance to go because uh, they had no reservations for us. It was like a two and a half hour wait. So we were thinking uh, this would be a good night. Yep, and we have a six o'clock reservation. Yep, we have a six o'clock reservation. So. It's the oldest Florida restaurant and it was founded in 1905. arrived at our table and we went ahead and decided to order a um, pitcher of mojitos, mojitos. and um, they're, they're pretty good. Yeah. But uh, we're going to go ahead and look over the menu and see what else we're going to get. We actually did put in an appetizer called Championos uh, Rejenos. Yeah, we're butchering that. So this place is actually famous for their sangria, but we're different. We like mojitos, so we got some mojitos. But if you're here and you do like sangria, this place is actually pretty famous for it. So. I asked the waitress what kind of type of Spanish food this is. She says it's a mixture of all Spanish foods, a little bit of Cuban, a little bit of Colombian. Um, I don't know if she said Mexican or not, but she said it was like a, a blend of all different Spanish foods. got romantic in here. No, they came over here and that the lights is pretty cool. To warm it up a little. Yeah. So this is our meal. Uh, the roasted pork a la cubana is actually what I prefer. Um, it's a pork slice, uh, yuca, plantain, 
black beans, and I think white rice is underneath it and it's topped with onions. So what I ordered was polo manchango. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I butchered it. Um, it is like a, a, it's a boneless chicken. Uh, Looks like it's flat like a schnitzel. Yeah, it's flat like schnitzel. Um, it's got breadcrumbs. And it looks like sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of spinach. Yeah, I'm a little oh, jealous. Yeah. Alright, so our dessert just arrived. It is the white chocolate bread pudding. Um, it's bigger than what you would think for a normal size. Like I would think this would be a family size or something. Yeah, at least for two people. Take a look. So take, Yeah, take a look. Yeah. If you're gonna order that. I would recommend splitting it at least between two people. Oh, Maybe yeah. bring in the whole family. Yeah. Oh my god. That was delicious. It's a little hot. So yeah. yeah, maybe take a smaller bite. Uh-huh. I did the same thing, so don't feel bad. Definitely recommend trying Columbia House uh, restaurant. It's a Spanish restaurant. I would say be wary too because the portions were huge. Uh, be prepared to stuff yourself silly. <laughs> so we're sitting inside the spectacular restaurant. Um, it's a family owned business. They've been around here a while. We actually had them the last time we went to Clearwater. Yeah, they have two locations. So, uh, if you're ever in an area where they have one, check it out. So if you are a lover of breakfast or lunch, my god, this menu just looks awesome. All kinds of omelets and crepes and French toast and pancakes and fruits and uh, steak and eggs. And it's hard to decide. It really is hard to decide. Looks like you can order alcohol. They have Cosmos and Pineapple Breezes and Screwdrivers, Mimosas and Bellinis and Bloody Marys. Yum yum. So the food arrived. Yes, I went with the country fried steak and eggs. Uh, I like my eggs uh, over medium, so there's a little bit of runniness to it. Um, I had them, normally comes with home fries, but I had them swap it out with uh, shredded hash browns. Check it out. Yum yum. So I got a banana and strawberry crepe. It's got English cream on it, as you can see in the center. And it's got hazelnut chocolate. That looks good. The crepes are really uh, soft, uh, you know, kind of chewy. So. <laughs> We're gonna dig in. We're starving after hiking for two hours. Yeah. But um, food is great here. Nice and messy. It is, but it's so good. <laughs> Delicious as always. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna keep all this down. <laughs> but no, it was a really good meal. Yeah, plate's been clean. So this concludes our little food tour here in Clearwater. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button below and uh, we'll catch you on the next trip.